Foundation's cash controversy heating up. Some are calling for the IRS to eliminate the organization's tax-exempt status. Representative Marsha Blackburn says the IRS should review it. She joins us. Nice to see you, it's Congresswoman. Good to see you. All right, um, you've got a letter that how many people have signed on to it? So far, we've got 29 names on it. We'll probably close it tomorrow afternoon, uh, which was our intention. All right, and that goes to the IRS to review yes. the tax exempt That's status. Right. Why do you why do you want the tax exempt status uh, reviewed or even possibly lifted? What had happened during our work period last week? So many of our constituents would say. What are they doing and what do you know about this? And of course, all we know is what we've read in the paper and the Washington Post and New York Times. So we decided to compose this letter to send to the IRS and say, we need to look at the foreign donations, review the status, look at the structure. It's about fairness. It's about if, accountability. If by chance, and I don't know what's going to happen, the IRS were to withdraw their tax-exempt status, as I understand it, what it would mean, I mean, the, the, anyone who receives a salary from Clinton Foundation, regardless, is still going to pay taxes, paying taxes now and, and after with us. The foreign donations uh, would still come in because they don't pay, so it wouldn't be different to them because they don't get tax deductions. So the only place that would any, any clip anything would be perhaps domestic. People in the United States donating to the Clinton Foundation because they would have to pay taxes on their donations. So that's, so it would not, it wouldn't necessarily affect the Clintons directly. It would, it would, it would affect the foundation and what money they have to disperse to charities, and expenses, how they disperse and disperse it. Right, and that's exactly right. But what we think needs to be is a review of this. Are they true to their mission? Uh, where are these in donator donations coming from? Uh, also, looking at the agreement that she had with President Obama. Of course, he realized that, there was a, a conflict. Issue. That's a different issue. A conflict of issue, issue in, that could be there of interest. So. Yeah, I went to CharityNavigator.org to look at different yeah. charities, and they said that they can't. They don't, they don't have a matrix to look at the Clinton Global or the the Clinton Foundation, which I thought was regrettable. But you can actually go there and see what charities are ranked really high. Uh, with many stars, you know, in terms of what are, are good ones and what are not, but it's it's regrettable that you, that they can't rate the Clinton uh, Foundation. That is, you're right about that, and see, that is why we're seeking clarity. Uh, what is their mission? Where are their foreign donations coming from? What is their uh, purpose? Where are they giving this money? And did they use this as being a middleman for business deals? You look at the Geistra relationship in Canada. And these are questions constituents are asking us, and therefore we're asking the IRS for some clarity on this situation. Congressman, nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. And